The shots were fired right around a quarter of five this evening, shots that apparently were not heard by anyone else. The two victims were inside the union office. Did anybody see, witness the crime at all? No. no. The man c crawled out here and a bus driver that was standing here at the curb uh, came out to assist him and he called Medic 1. Police say the man who made it to the sidewalk was the union secretary treasurer. He was conscious when the medics arrived and taken to Harborview for emergency surgery. The man inside the office was dead at the scene. Police say he was the union dispatcher. So far, no motive for the shooting has been established, and the wounded victim has been in surgery most of the night. Police say he may be the only witness. They have no formal suspect or suspects, but are following some tips. Police say they have very few clues to work with, but they do want to find two men they say they very much want to talk to. Jan Charlton, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Well, they were threats, yes. Always? Always. Tell me Especially before and after dispatch time. Sonny Domingo and Jean Verness were gunned down in June of 1981. The two union activists were in the cannery workers' offices when they were killed. Two members of the Filipino Tulisan gang were convicted of the killings. Jimmy Ramil and Ben Galoy were given life prison terms for those slayings. Testimony in last year's trial indicated the killings were in retaliation for Domingo and Vernessa's efforts to reform the union. Now, Domingo's sister Cindy and others claim the slains were political, that the men were killed because they opposed Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos. The Tulasan gang did actually carry out the hit, but they did not initiate it. They simply fulfilled the murder contract put out by Marcos. Cindy Domingo and other members of the Philippine community charge that Marcos's agents are operating in the United States, that the U.S. government is cooperating with those agents to stop anti-Marcos activities. The basic issue before the people of the United States is whether we will tolerate the present operational policy of the U.S. government to permit agents of fascist pro-U.S. regimes of the Marcos type to operate with a free hand to stifle their opponents within the U.S. Domingo says the federal suit is being brought because the King County prosecutor and U.S. attorney have not taken action against the former president of the Cannery Workers Union. That man, Tony Baruso, is named in the suit as a Marcos agent and responsible for the killings. Joe Zaspel, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.